Hello everyone, and welcome to my young and restless gossip channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Daniel gets a partner, and Phyllis makes an enemy. Tracy was amazed when Diane came down the stairs with baggage. She inquired as to whether Diane and Jack had an excursion for work, yet Diane made sense of that, Jack advised her to move out. Tracy was stunned and asked them what had occurred as a month prior, they could never have been more enamored. Jack said they had one more battle at the club, and Diane referenced how embarrassing it was. Ever the person in question, Jack scoffed. Diane told Tracy that Jack thought she was narrow-minded and thought often more about veracity than her own child. Jack emphasized how he had an outlook on her, and she contemplated whether he was indicating he needed a separation. Jack said an invalidation was more fitting and blamed her for deceitfully entering their association. Upset, Diane mournfully let him know she adored him, yet Jack said it was showy behaviors. Tracy said she was there, and as an observer at their wedding, it was her responsibility to help them to remember their commitments. Diane valued Tracy's help, however told Jack she would return when he wasn't there to get the remainder of her stuff. Jack told Diane not to try coming to Jabot in light of the fact that the corner office he assisted her with getting was presently not hers. Furthermore, you guarantee that I'm the one that hurt you, Diane cried as she left. Tracy couldn't completely accept that Jack had allowed Diane to leave, however he said he was very much freed of Diane. Tracy let Jack know that on his big day, she told individuals she had never seen him so cheerful. Jack made certain it was absolutely impossible to fix his marriage. She has shown her genuine nature, and she is all that everybody cautioned me about, Jack said as Kyle came first floor. Love General Clinic, BNB, Days or Different Cleansers? Join the discussion on our SC Sheets. Click here to interface with fans and plunge into conversations now. Kyle affirmed he heard his folks' marriage was self-destructing. Jack told Kyle that Diane was presently not Jabot's chief or his better half. Aren't you going to brag? Jack inquired. Kyle said he didn't have the foggiest idea how to feel after what he had seen at the club. Jack figured Kyle would be excited and noted he had been tossing disdain their direction for a really long time. Tracy let Jack know it was absolutely impossible that Kyle would be glad that his folks were separating, yet Kyle told her they made them come. Tracy was dazed as Kyle asked Jack what caused his change in context about Diane. Disregard it. I can't muster the energy to care in the event that you and mother split up, Kyle said. He made sense of for Tracy that his sentiments don't make any difference to Jack and Diane. Tracy told Jack and Kyle that she could see they had all been in aggravation for quite a while. I'm ready to move on and not look back. I cautioned mother to avoid me. You likely ought to, as well, Kyle expressed icily to Jack prior to leaving. Tracy let Jack know how sorry she was and embraced him. Jack let Tracy know that he'd been willfully ignorant for quite a while. Everybody said she was a client. I would have rather not trusted it, he said. Tracy reminded Jack that he realized Diane was earnest at that point and that she endeavored to demonstrate to everybody that she had changed. Tracy added that the savviest and most faithful individuals she knew saw an adjustment of Diane and said they could never have all been off base. Tracy was disheartened when Jack told her beginning and end, including how Kyle took Jabot's mysterious recipe. Jack said he was staggered by how Diane pursued Kyle as though he were a typical crook. He felt Diane ought to have perceived how they drove him to that point. Tracy concurred botches had been made on all sides yet entreated him to avoid anything rash. Jack informed Tracy to remain out regarding it as their issues were undeniably more perplexing than she could envision. At society, Lucy and Daniel attempted to eat. Lucy contemplated whether Daniel was keeping data about the examination from her. Daniel said there was a scarcely discernible difference between keeping her educated and hearing each and every disturbing subtlety. Daniel let Lucy know that he had pursued a choice on the best way to keep her protected and that she expected to oblige it. He made sense of that he was the sole suspect until the police viewed as another. Daniel maintained that Lucy should go with Daniel on visit, do far-off homework, and be diverted. 
things will get a ton more regrettable for me before they improve, and I don't need you here for that when it works out, Daniel said. Lucy dissented, yet Daniel told her it wasn't her responsibility to be fearless for him, it was his responsibility to deal with her. Summer went along with them and said that she concurred with Lucy. Lucy needed to remain around to be cutting edge on the examination subtleties and backing Daniel. Daniel said that Lucy was too youthful to even consider picking and it was a decent arrangement. Lucy, I can't help but concur, Christine said. Everybody went to Christine, who said she had flown in on the visit fly, yet the pilot's directions were to promptly get Lucy and return. Lucy resolutely announced she was not getting on the plane and ran outside. Christine made sense of that she had conversed with a portion of her old contacts on the power and that the case wasn't quite as frail true to form. In the event that Lucy remained, Christine felt she could be gone up against by individuals who thought Daniel was blameworthy, which could damage. Summer headed outside and let Lucy know that she had changed her viewpoint and that Lucy ought to go accompany Danny. Summer called attention to that it would be more diligently on Daniel, assuming she remained, as he would be stressed over her. Summer guaranteed that Daniel wouldn't be distant from everyone else, and she and Phyllis would have him covered. Lucy gazed at her father through the window. Inside society, Daniel asked Christine everything her companions had said to her at the station. Christine expressed not to stress over that but rather required Daniel to tell her beginning and end. She said she needed to hear his side of the story all along, and afterward she would sort out some way to get him out of this bad dream. At her front entryway, Sharon wailed to scratch. I figured I could do this, however I can't. It's excessively hard. I attempted to keep it up, yet it's excessively, she cried. Scratch carried her to the love seat and quieted her down. Sharon demanded she was a horrendous individual and she had caused such a lot of torment. I can't live with myself any longer, Sharon said. Scratch asked Sharon what occurred. You'll lose yourself assuming you tell him. Get yourself together, Sharon's inward voice said. Sharon requested that Scratch make her some tea. Scratch got up to go to the kitchen yet stopped at the lounge area table and watched Sharon. At the point when Scratch returned, Sharon let him know she was greatly improved and apologized for being a wait. Scratch said that he, Confidence, and Mariah simply believed that her should be blissful, and they wouldn't fret supporting her, so she didn't have to apologize or feel like a wait. Scratch added that he was unable to help in the event that he didn't have the foggiest idea what was happening. I trusted we were where you could let me know anything. I'm hanging around for you regardless, Scratch empowered. Sharon began checking out the space for Cameron. Sharon realized Scratch saw, so she said she really wanted air and headed outside. Scratch followed Sharon and inquired as to whether she was all right. Sharon said she had a medical checkup for another treatment meeting. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.